Breezeway has existed under various names and owners since before the Second World War. Louvre window manufacturing began around 1947 and by the mid-1960s our louvers were being exported to over 65 countries. A management buyout in 2001 resulted in the formation of Breezeway as it is known today. Today Breezeway is at the forefront of Louvre window technology and design with a constant stream of product improvements flowing from our Brisbane based R&D centre. Brisbane also remains the primary manufacturing facility with all orders custom made on a five day lead time. The consistent growth in the popularity of Breezeway Louvre windows resulted in the need for additional manufacturing and administrative space, so the decision was taken in 2009 to redevelop the inner city site. HPC Urban were appointed to design a showcase headquarters. The current site here is a, a large title which is broken into several um, divisions. What we wanted to do with the building is make sure that there's uh, scope to redevelop the site later for Breezeway as they possibly outgrow this factory site. What that did was gave us quite a, a long uh, narrow site which faces a long axis towards the east. We looked at opening and closing of that wall in order to get uh, nice office spaces, to get the flow of air through the building, to keep the natural lit areas. There was also a, a, quite a desire from Breezeway to use their product in the building so we married the two together in, in being able to get a building that would breathe and, and react to the environment and showcase Breezeway's louvers, which was the perfect product to do this. The opening the eastern wall gives the, the occupants of the building great views outside, connection to the day and to be able to interact with the day rather than being shut up inside an, an office building, as would normally be the case. Uh, we wanted to make an iconic building for Breezeway with something that showcases their product and, and shows how it can be used in a, in a corporate environment. Because the western wall of the building, we had to have a firewall there in order to maintain the availability of subdividing the site later. Uh, it meant that we had a solid wall there, which is great for western sun protection. It means that we could uh, use that to, to shade the building and keep the internal areas uh, away from that western sun influence. What that meant though is uh, with, with not much north facade we have to use this eastern wall to create the ventilation for the building. Now we didn't have the opportunity of cross ventilation as such because we've only got a small narrow frontage. What we ended up doing was to use a, a stack ventilation on the eastern wall which would allow us to ventilate in like a chimney effect from the from the bottom to the top. In order to achieve this we had to have uh, some vertical height in the building. What we came up with was the idea of using atriums along the eastern facade. We staggered the atriums up the building so that it sort of leads up through and the space is linked through, creates the circulation through the building. Traditionally, in an office floor, you would lay the offices out along the window edges and then moving back into the plan where you would do a central core for the services and the, and the circulation of the building in order to allow these atriums to exist meant that we could stack the office spaces back on the western side of the building and it allowed everyone uh, to have access to the eastern light, to the views, to the breezes. The eastern side of the building becomes quite an energetic side of the building, it's quite dynamic where all the activity is happening on that side, the noises are happening, the views, the light, the breeze. So it was quite an interesting outcome in the design of the floor plates. We wanted to maintain ventilation through those offices to make sure that they weren't disadvantaged. We ended up using the breezeway louvers again internally in order to create operable partitions. They were a manual louver so that the office inhabitant could control how they wanted to ventilate their room. They can control their level of privacy. In, in doing that, it created a connection and it kept the ventilation and the flow of the space, but still created pockets where people could uh, undertake their business and effectively select their environment each day. Early in the design process, we engaged Greenleaf engineers to do ESD modelling for the building. What they looked at was uh, the way in which to ventilate the building, mainly because we've only got this eastern wall open. If we were just to open the, the louvers and as one big mass, 
we effectively create a buffer of air that stops the building from ventilating. So they investigated ways of opening and closing the louvers to achieve the best chimney stack effects. And there's three methods of operation for those louvers, which allows to us to get a sort of maximum control throughout the year, depending on the quality of the day outside, as to how the building will operate naturally and passively, rather than just closing it up and turning on the air conditioning system. Originally, we started with the idea of everything was on a BMS. It was the, the top of the range system. Uh, cost factors didn't allow that to happen. We came up with an idea that we would keep all the louvers on the BMS system. The lighting control was taken off. What we did with the, the BMS then is to have a, an automated mode connected in with the mechanical ventilation so that on a general day we've got a, a sensor system on the roof that tests the humidity, the enthalpy, the rain and the wind. From that it reads through a computer system that tells the louvers in what format to open to best make use of the natural environment for ventilation. We ended up using the Neighbours system that gave us a four to four and a half star rating on the building. What Neighbours requires after that is the monitoring of the, the water usage, the energy usage of the building in order to maintain that star rating and even to look at increasing the star rating. So this was a tr quite an attractive process in that it put the onus on the building to operate in a functional manner, not just say that it operated in a functional manner at the beginning. The amount of glazing on the east gave us a bit of a problem in the sun control for the building. So we ended up using a, a series of aluminium louver panels along the eastern facade arranged to shade the glass. The glass in the louvre is tinted to have some sun, sun and light control. We do notice that when the building is fully open, it is quite a bright space. It's quite a few times we've embarked upon this process. Uh, a lot of times the client will not see the vision for the building. Uh, maybe sustainability is not a high factor on their, their priorities when it comes to what they want to produce. So it was, it was great to be able to uh, showcase the product of the client, to use it in, in, a, in a real world commercial building, and then also to follow that through as a, a great environmental solution and not just a typical office building where people are sort of crammed in. It's a building that people enjoy being in. Uh, it's great to come and visit the building, to see the spaces, to, to see the light and the day, to appreciate the environment around and to have a building that, where you can walk through a space and, and feel a breeze on your face, which is something that you don't get in, a, in a, your average office building. Um, I, I adore the movers. I love coming in in the morning and not having the air conditioning on and walking in and having the sunlight streaming in on me as I walk past my desk. And I sit here and I look up at the sky and I have the fresh air blowing in and it's just a glorious feeling coming into work in the morning and having that hit you. One of the things that's really lovely about working in this building is that uh, on a warm sunny afternoon you can actually feel like you're being exposed to the outside and not being shut off from it. Um, Previous environments we've had with closed windows just never give you that opportunity. So just to be able to feel the warm breeze come through and, and sit here, it just, it takes away that yearning to be outside when you have to be in here working. Well, these three story building here is like living in a coffee shop. Uh, constant breezes, fresh air. It is absolutely beautiful. <laughs>